Oh my god, look who's back. Mr. Bobby Sneaker World is in the building. This is your birthday month. Thanks for having me back. This is what we're going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? This is a monthly thing. This is what we're doing. And it's super dope. And I, I really appreciate you having me back. Well, you know we need the info on these releases. Absolutely. I would love to jump right into non-Jordan brand stuff if you want. Alright, well let's get right into it, man. Let's not beat around the bush this month. Alright, if we're going to jump right into it, let's start off with the Greek Freak 1 with Nike. So, you want MVP. These images have been leaked for at least a couple months of those uh, Zoom Freak 1s. Um, and this like, what is that, like a um, OKC colorway. It's like an Oklahoma City colorway. But uh, I think they're called the All Bros. Releasing on the first. No, nah, that's 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 a pass for me. I mean, I mean, I, I obviously wear pr primarily basketball sneakers, but that looks like a performance sneaker to me. And I don't think that's my swag. Like I like the rose joints that represent his father. Um, the all white and like metallic gold swoosh. Those those are pretty dope. Those are pretty clean. Um, I think those don't drop till September though. But the all bros, not for me. What about the LeBron <clears throat> 16 low South Beach or Hyper yeah. Jade? LeBron 16 lows. The like South Beachy type colorway. I don't know what they're calling them. Um, nah. Nah. That's a no go. I don't think. Nah. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of any of them though. I'm not a fan of it. They could put any colorway on. I don't think that I would go for it. Um, the only 16 that I want now is the Watch the Thrones. So outside of that. I don't think that I want another 16, but I'm not a fan of this sneaker or the colorway. I'm not mad at anybody that is, but it's just not for me. Now, I hear there's a little controversy on these next one, the Air Max 1, 4th of July's. Yeah, man, I heard about these. Now, this was going to be one of the sneakers that I went for in the month. Um, but I guess the controversy, I didn't really think too deep into it. Uh, with the Betsy Ross and the original 13 Colonies and the stars on the back and all of that. I guess it's a big deal, man. And they Nike actually yanked it because of so much complaints, so many complaints. People pick and choose what they want to be offended by. Um, but I get it. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Philadelphia 76ers have a jersey with the stars on it. I think. I haven't seen anybody boycotting that. But that's neither here nor there. But the answer, I think the sneaker itself is dope. I think the colorway and, you know, what it's supposed to represent as far as, like, the fourth and red, white, and blue and, you know, whatever. I get it. Um, I think it was. I think it's a clean Air Max 1, and I would have I would have went for it, man. Um, you know, for the price point, what is it, $110, $140, something like that. Excuse me, $140, $110. I'd have definitely went for it. Rock the hell out of it. I see Nike <laughs> is dropping a new Kyrie in a black colorway. My man Kyrie. Kyrie fives, man. Um, I've only owned one pair, and that was that Concepts pair. Uh, but I can't get my foot into it, man. I bought, I went up like a whole half size, and I still couldn't squeeze. It hurt my foot so bad that I had to get rid of it. And I love that colorway, that concepts one. Um, this one look like this one looking like Brooklyn Nets. This one looking real, looking real Brooklyn s colorway. Ain't nothing Celtics about this. I know he's not gonna be with the Celtics, but this is looking real, uh, real Brooklyn Ness. Just saying. <laughs> Him and Katie. There's also a new women's exclusive. Phone Posit 1 dropping. Now, these Phone Posit 1s, man, I haven't seen a lot of hype around a phone. I mean, you had the floral joints. Um, they had a, I think those are women exclusive where they made a woman's version or something like that. Uh, but I haven't seen a lot of hype around a phone since the Big Bangs. And this, uh, 
USA pair. It's half a half. I don't like this nigger. I don't like foams anymore though. Um, but I think it's like it's just weird. Like I get it, the red, white, and blue, and the Fourth of July and all that. But I don't think that it's executed well. I don't know. I would have to see it in person or see it on foot or something like that. But I don't think it's dope. That's just my opinion though. Um, it looks kind of cheesy. Like it looks too, like it's trying too hard. Like we get it. All right, it was red here and it's blue here and it's white here. And it's nah, just like find a way to finesse it in and make it look like, you know, more wearable. That just looks like, that looks like a hood sneaker to me. Like, I don't see, like, you can't wear that casually nowhere. That's just, like, very, like, just my opinion. What about Donovan Mitchell getting his own sneaker with Adidas? Oh, the Donovan Mitchells, Utah Jazz? You know, uh, you know what I'm going to say, right? You already know what I'm going to say, right? Those are Magic City, man. Those are cheeks. Oh, those are those are magic city. Those are ass. No. That looks like that's a grown man. I get it, he's in the Spider-Man. But it looks like a Spider-Man sneaker. It looked like a sneaker you would get at Payless. It, it should have like Spider-Man on the back. Like, like nah, those are corny. Like, I just can't some sneakers I just can't see adults wearing. Like, it just don't look like a it looks like a kid sneaker to me. Nah, I get he played basketball. He can play hoop in them or whatever. I still think they, I don't know, I think they Magic City. But, I just can't see anybody walking around casually in those, like, in the summer. I just don't see it. One more that's non-Jordan. All right, last one, non-Jordan. Okay, what we got? There's another 350 dropping the Lundmark. Okay, now these Adidas 350 V2 Lundmark. Um... Coming out on the what is it? See now there's two because I know there's a reflective pair and there is a regular pair just like they're doing with all of these now. So I think the reflective pair comes out first on the 11th, July 11th, and the second pair comes out 13th. Now reflective. I don't I don't care, man. I got a, a homeboy that wants me to get the um, non-reflective pair for him if I can. I'll get him a pair. You know, I'm doing my best, do, do my footwork. I think they're on f finish line app already. Um, so I'm gonna try to get put in for that. Not a non-reflective, I don't want either, but if I can get those and flip those. <laughs> Coinage! I'm all about that. When when Snickers start selling, Snickers that you don't want, that you may be able to, anytime there's an opportunity for you to be a, able to obtain a pair that's going for eight, nine, thousand dollars you just it's it's only smart it's only smart to at least try yeah i'm gonna I'm, put, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring man if they have a shock drop or something like that i'm gonna try to be on it but as far as for the personal it's just another one like it, it, i want i i wanted the things that i wanted i got the things that i wanted now you know what i'm saying they release these wave runners <laughs> i'm on it because i'm a hype beast Let's jump over to Jordan Brand. The Hapo R, Jordan Brand. Okay. What are your feelings on the Jordan One Reacts? I don't, I don't. Second trip, man. We, we going back to, we going back to the club. We going back to Magic City. These are ass. I don't get these. Coming from the biggest Jordan One fan. I get it that a lot of people feel like they just, oh they need to put these in the vault. They need to yeah, they need a break. And this is this is just giving those people more of a voice. When you put out crap like this, now don't get me wrong, there'll be people that'll buy these. But this looks like some type of prototype of a Jordan 1. Like they were just like, like, let's just try this. Let's just mix and match this and put this, 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 and this together. And then, you know what I'm saying, take everybody to Magic City, because these are ass. Can't get behind it, man. So, can we just, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> we also have some grade school size Jordan 10 dropping. Yo, I feel, yeah. Yo, those 10s. Yeah, the 10s that come out on the 5th, 
I'm not a fan of, obviously. I think it's cool for a little girl. And that's the only person that I could see wearing this nigga. I, I don't even think like a grown woman should wear it. Um, if you got great school size feet. But like I... It's like I think it's like cute for a little girl. Like if you have a little daughter or something like that, get her some tins, you know what I'm saying? Something but then again, they're white. So they're gonna they're gonna be beat after two wears with a kid wearing them. So I don't think it's an adult sneaker at all with that you know what I'm saying, colorful marble bottom. But uh it's dope for a little girl. Now me personally, I like these next ones, the fi the yellow fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now see these I have a love hate with like these fives. People are calling them Michigans. Jordan Brand is calling them Inspire. I want to get. I, I like the sneaker. Like I like the yellow. I like the you know the colorway. Point blank. Period. Two twenty five. That's two forty in Ohio after tax at least. Is this a two hundred forty dollars sneaker? Like is it? But with the way I look at everything, because people pay resale for stuff, things are worth what you're willing to pay for. So it comes down to, am I willing to pay $240 for this Jordan 5? And the answer is maybe. I already have it on my Foot Action app, um, but I would have to drive to go get it if I hit. And we'll just have to see, man. Right now, I want the sneaker. I'm just debating if it's two hundred forty dollars worth of do I want it that bad. Um, so if I hit, I probably buy it. It's just the way it is, man. Because at this point, I haven't seen a lot of things in the month that I want. You know what I'm saying? But it's my birthday month, so I gotta get, you know, I gotta get something. I gotta take something out. How do you think Spike Lee feels about these Mars two seventies? Why are you even? You shouldn't even ask me about these. Like this is. These Mars 270s are disrespectful to, to Spike Lee and his legacy with Jordan Brand. This sneaker is so, so trash that it looked like, you know, it just looked like a sneaker that, I'm not even going to say that because that's, that's going to offend some people. That sneaker is not, it's not it. Um, it's not a good design. It looks bulky. It looks like a mismatch of bad sneakers. I see the women have a Jordan 8 dropping. Okay. Now the Jordan 8 women's, the women's aqua, I'm not going to be going for them. Um, I've heard plenty of uh, sneaker YouTubers talking about these before. And I've seen them. Um, I just don't, I don't, I don't personally want them. You know what I'm saying? As far as the 8 or anything or the colorway, I think it's cool, but it's not for me personally. I'll get them for somebody else if they want them, because I'm sure they'll be readily available. Are you going for the Jordan Low IEs? Jordan 11 Low IE Space Jams. I'm probably going to pass just because I want the original, I want the mids or highs or whatever they're called, Space Jams. Never, I've never owned a pair of 11 Space Jams, but I don't, I don't like 11 Lows. So I'll probably pass on them just because of that. But I, I can't wait to see them in hand though. Well, there's a Laker theme 13 drop. All right, so the day before my birthday, July 20th, the Jordan 13 Lakers are dropping. I don't know if Jordan Brand is actually calling these the Lakers. I don't, I don't know, because I think they were coming out with a rivalry pack or something like that. So it might actually be dubbed the Lakers, because I think there's a, a Jordan 3 Knicks supposed to be in the works or something like that but either way court purple lakers whatever they're calling them um i think this might be my first 13 ever no not ever i've, I've had the breads and the cherries and all that when i was a kid but as far as um as an adult actually in a collection this might be my first 13 um might it might be. I, I, I definitely want to see him in hand. I don't know who even remember what a 13 looks like on my foot. Um, Cause I haven't bought one since since the original release when they first came out. Uh, so I would love to see these, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially with you know, my boy Bron out there. I got the Kobe PEs nines. I got LeBron 
uh, colorway, you know what I'm saying, the Martins, 16s, uh, but I would love to see these 13s in hand, man, that might be, I don't know if I will, this is what I'm going to be wearing on my birthday, but I might get it the day before my birthday, you know what I'm saying, a little gift to myself. Last two. Last two, okay. Just, just tell me them both then. Okay, I'll run them both. You have the Tinker 3 Black Cement, and I think okay. you also have a PSG 6. Yeah. All right, now, first off, Tinkers. No, I don't I, I don't like any of the variations. I didn't like the last one, the, the Air Max 1s, and I'm not going to go for these Black Cement joints either. I know but dude, people will buy them, and that's, you know, that's their money, that's what it is, it's just not for me. Now, those PSG 6s, <laughs> if those drop, I might actually go for those. Those are cool, I'm actually liking the smoky gray tones on that color, I mean on colorway on that on that silhouette on the 6, um, I might actually go for those. Those Tinkers, Magic City, PSG 6s might be doable might be doable but before we get out of here I know you said those are the last two this is my birthday month three weeks from now it's my birthday and two sneakers that you didn't bring up the 18th I believe there's three Sakai waffles dropping again I need I need those colorful joints I'll take any color but those colorful ones Nike the Nike gods Please bless your boy for his birthday with the Sakai Waffle Rainbow Warrior joints. Just came up with that. Now, if the Travis Scott Sixes drop, it's the only two sneakers I need to take down this month. That's it. It's my birthday month. Bless your boy with the Travis Scotts, which I, I've been talking about since February on my Instagram. I want those more than I want the ones. I want the sixes, and I want the Sakai waffles on the 18th. Drop them on my birthday, man. Drop the drop the Sakai's on the 18th. Drop the one. Drop the uh, Travis Scotts on my birthday, and bless your boy, man. Bless me. Well, you know you're already blessed, man. Thanks again for coming in. Of course, man. Thanks for having me again, man. This, this is what we doing until August. I'll be back. Obi!